Welcome to Nordic Market News, Friday, February the 17th. We summarize the past week's most market-affecting news every Friday. Looking at each country's stock market index, the past week has been particularly troublesome for Norway. Helsinki 25, 0.8% up this week, or minus 0.5 today. OMX is 30, 0.4 this week, or minus 0.5 today. OSCBX in Norway, minus 1.5 this week, or minus 1 today. Copenhagen 20, minus 0.7 this week, or 0.5 today. Nordic 40, 0.8 this week, or minus 0.5 today. Starting off in Norway, seafood company Marine Harvest reported the Q4 this week with a somewhat better result than expected. Operating result was 259 million euro for the fourth quarter, compared to expected 256, according to SME Direct. The pre-tax result was 276 million, compared to expected 257, and the turnover was just about 1 billion euro. Expected was 977 million. Despite the positive result, the company's stock dropped significantly during Wednesday, the day of the report, as displayed in this graph from Infront. Marine Harvest dropped almost 5% and was the most traded stock on the Norwegian Stock Exchange. A comment from Nordea Market says there were few surprises in the report from Marine Harvest. Outdoor retailer XXL also reported their fourth quarter during the week and, like Marine Harvest, beat the market expectations. XXL reported an EBITDA of 286 million Norwegian kroner compared to 229 for the same period of 2015. According to SME Direct, an EBITDA of 272 million Norwegian kroner were expected. The goal for XXL is to open 10 to 12 new stores during 2017, and the company has already signed 10 lease agreements for new stores during this year, one in Norway, four in Sweden, three in Finland and two in Austria. Following the trend of marine harvest, the XXL stock also dropped significantly during Wednesday, the day of the report. Moving on to Finland, department store group Stockman made a profit of 17.6 million euro for 2016. This is significantly better than 2015 when Stockman reported a loss of 50 million euro. Within the group, the Lindex brand is pulling their salt forward with the highest degree of profitability. Lindex result increased from 10 million euro to 55 million between 2015 and 2016. This graph from Infront shows the market reaction of joy. Stockman surged at the Finnish stock exchange over 8% during Wednesday morning, the day of the report. The group turnover was about 1.3 billion euro for 2016, and that is a decrease of 4% compared to 2015. Stockman estimates the turnover will decrease during 2017 as well, but that the group will be able to show off a profit. Finnair reported their fourth quarter this week as well. The operating result was 1.6 million euro compared to 0.8 million for the same period of 2015. Turnover increased with 0.4%. The report did not meet the market expectations. Consensus was between 4 and 13 million euro. According to the CEO Pekka Vauramu, 2016 was a year of growth for Finner, but also posed quite a few challenges. In Sweden, the Swedish large cap steel manufacturer SSAB reported the fourth quarter below the pre report estimates. The operating result was 107 million Swedish kroner compared to expected 230 million. Operating margin was 1% compared to expected 1.7. No one-time costs were included in the report. Due to maintenance during the fourth quarter for vital production sites, the analysts had expected a one-time cost to a value of 1.3 million Swedish kroner. The board suggests no dividend to the shareholders, but the CEO Martin Linkvist says he believes 2017 will be more fruitful for the company. Both North America and Europe are expected to increase their orders of steel, and the prices are estimated to rise somewhat. Tobacco company Swedish Match reported their fourth quarter today, Friday, not reaching up to the market expectations. Swedish Match operating result was 954 million Swedish kroner. The analyst had expected 992 million. Net turnover was somewhat better than expected, with a result of barely 3.96 billion Swedish kroner compared to consensus of 3.94. As displayed in this graph from Infront, taken today Friday around 1pm, the company's stock has dropped significantly following the report. 
Swedish Match estimates an increase in the consumption of snus in Scandinavia during 2017, as well as moist snuff in the US. However, Swedish Match expect the competition to be increasingly intense within the sector going forward. Finally, in Denmark, on the report side, it has been quiet in Denmark this week. However, the official indicator of the Danish GDP has been reported. Denmark's GDP rose 0.4% during the fourth quarter of 2016 compared to the same period 2015, says the trend indicator. For the entire year of 2016, the GDP is estimated to have increased 1.1%. The preliminary calculation of the Q4 GDP will be announced February 28th. That was the headlines for today's program. We will be back again next week with more Nordic news. Thank you for watching.